Do you strive to wholly engage readers in your fiction and memoir? Here's a moment of mastery. Create felt form. To bring experience alive on the page for readers, we reference sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. A sixth sense can emerge from the sensory information and narrative structure. This felt form coalesces the writing to create whole body experiences for readers. In an American childhood, Annie Dillard's vivid sensory imagery becomes a metaphor for the memoir she's writing. Like any child, I slid into myself perfectly fitted as a diver meets her reflection in a pool. Her fingertips enter the fingertips on the water. Her wrists slide up her arms. The diver wraps herself in a her reflection wholly, sealing it at the toes, and wears it as she climbs rising from the pool and ever after. In Mary Carr's The Liar's Club, light is thematic throughout the book. She begins, my sharpest memory is of a single instance surrounded by dark. And she ends, Still the image pleases me enough to slip from the body's tight container and into some luminous womb, gliding there without effort till the distant shapes grow brighter and more familiar, till all your beloved hover before you, their lit arms held out in welcome. In Floating in My Mother's Palm, Ursula Hagee guides sensory awareness from grand to the intimate felt form of the story's title and out again. The quarry hole during a storm, the somber sky highlighted by streaks of silver that make the water look as if it were bubbling. If I look closely, I can almost see myself floating in my mother's palm. Yet, when I shut my eyes, I find a different image of my mother releasing me as we dance in the storm and twirl in separate circles that cause the water to ripple from us in widening rings, which merge in one ebbing bracelet of waves where the borders of the quarry meet the water, far from the center where my mother and I continue to spin our bodies in the radiant sheen of lightning. These masterful examples use mainly the senses of sight and touch to slip us into our own skin into water, into light, into intimacy, and into distance. We are not merely reading the scene, not merely imagining. We enter the writer's experience through felt form. The scenes serve their stories, serve the writer's intentions, and deepen reading enjoyment. I'd love to hear about your experiences with felt form and fiction. Leave a comment or get in touch through the links. Now, choose sight, sound, taste, touch, or smell as a main sense and add another as you progress. Use this desert image or another as inspiration. Begin writing based on what it suggests. Write until a felt form emerges for you. Continue writing and revising until you have a passage that reads smoothly and embodies the felt form. Prepare yourself for moments of mastery. Thanks for watching, and all good wishes for your creative practices. For a free trial of my online course, Writing Fiction, Nine Ways to Mastery, go to courses.christinewalker.net. Click below to like this video and subscribe to my channel.